Hi Aries, this is your reading, your number two this week, so well done. Thank you very much for all the likes and shares and thumbs up. I'm using the Quantum Tarot. You come in with the three of wands, so plans are coming to fruition or abundance is on its way. This could be materially or this could be in romance, love. Also, you have the world card. The world card means that you're in, on your balance, you're standing on top of the world here and you're in balance. Also, you could be meeting or dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, Scorpio or an Aquarius. You're definitely going on to the next level in romance or career. Also, you could be moving home or upgrading your home or going on holiday. The world is your oyster. Now, I'm also hearing uh, somebody saying the Holy Trinity. You see the three figures behind you. That's like the Holy Trinity. So divine is with you with this deck. But also try to balance. You are balancing your heart, your mind and your body. Definitely you are in balance. Also, this is the karma card. If somebody's done you wrong or good, uh, or you've done good or wrong, you will get it back threefold. So don't worry about revenge. Let it go. Let it go. Karma will get them. And worse than you might even think. So don't worry about anybody. Just yourself. Take care of yourself. Bring yourself in balance as beautiful things are going to come into your life. There's also a new beginning and big victory since you've got the Ace of Swords. If you are in a judicial situation, like I said, don't worry. <laughs> Karma is coming big way, earthly way and from the cosmos. The Ace of um, Swords represents Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. You might have to be as sharp as a sword or a point of the sword and remember the sword cuts both sides. So don't, I'm also hearing somebody saying, don't do onto others what you, if you don't want to, them to do to you. Also, you could be starting a new study or doing a workshop. Um, also, new communication or gaining new knowledge. You could be um, using the cyber. Look at this ball here and the ball here, the earth, the atlas, and then the sudden thunder or lightning coming through. So something is suddenly coming in very fast and things are changing. You might even meet somebody on the web or you could be doing the research on the web. Also new communication. So you could be gathering knowledge. You might be doing research to show that you will have this big victory. Boom. It's very explosive with all this uh, electrifying energy going on. Also, we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is an offer, a new love or a new passion. If you're not meeting any of the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, then you could be taking care of yourself or taking a page out of their book. Nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, definitely bringing victory to yourself abundance this could be a new passion could be a person could be a hobby or you could be changing your hobby into your career so an opportunity or an offer is coming in this could also be an offer of love getting married this could be the justice of the peace a new beginning also you have the queen of swords so if you need some advice do see a professional like an advocate, a lawyer or bookkeeper or a, even a surgeon or a doctor. Then she is the person to visit. You could be dealing with a Libra prominently, but don't forget Gemini or Aquarius. But the Queen is known to be um, Libra prominently. She has her emotions under control and she's as sharp as a point. Um, as she has to think on her feet. She might not show any emotions. That's because she has to defend 
whoever she loves and protects, whether it's professionally or somebody that is in private. This could also be a mother figure um, this, that you could be seeking advice from. Clarity will prevail and justice will be done. Also, the Queen of Swords is a career orientated person and she, because she's career orientated, she doesn't show her emotions lightly. The, the, the Swords people, the Air people, uh, do find that they have to protect everybody and everything that they love or believe in. You could be protected from the competition as we have the Five of Wands. There could be dis disputes, there could be disagreements, but the short lived She'll make sure of that because she will cut straight through to the core to get to the truth of things. That said, she will fight on, uh, on your behalf in the courts and get you the victory. Don't worry about the competition and don't worry about disagreements. There could be some delays though because we've got the hanged man here trying to get a different perspective. Perhaps you might have to do research to get a different perspective. The Queen of Swords could help you with that. There could be delays from four hours to four months. Um, but because the hanged man hung himself in this position himself, he can also, his arms and hands are free. So he can come down uh, once, you can come down if once you've got the right perspective and that you're certain you will beat the competition. Also, we have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles means that you've got recognition. So when you're ready, then come into action and the delays are over and get that just right, that, that new perspective. Also, you could be going within because this is a, um, 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 a spiritual card. You could be going within to discover yourself or finding answers. Um, within yourself on how to take um, time out because he is taking time out it is his choice to get that different perspective or you could be taking time out to gain that knowledge you could also be meditating contemplating and evaluating um, at this moment um, because you will have recognition your hard work is going to pay off so this could be a promotion this could also be a wage rise but definitely perhaps you are trying to get a, a, a different perspective on how to do it less emotionally because, like the queen of swords because we've got a lot of cups here we've got the knight of cups and we've got the ace of cups perhaps you might have had that offer um like you might have met somebody on the on the web to become a partner in business or in love but definitely perhaps you might have had that offer of marriage and you need time out to think about it this could be new love like i said love um, it could be a new passion as well this could be with a person but this could also be a hobby like i said you might be changing your um, hobby into your career and perhaps you might need to seek advice from a professional or a mother figure or a father figure since we've got the emperor here here again we've got cancer scorpio and uh, pisces listen to your intuition and listen wisely don't ignore your intuition it will never leave you in the lurch okay now this advisor could be aries but as the emperor represents aries this could be a father figure, this could be a mature, per mature person that you trust, love and respect. Wow. And here we've got the keys of the conscious and the subconscious. I don't know whether you can see the keys here. So think about things and get that different perspective. Sorry about the children, but it's outside. And to crown it, from the romance uh, oracle we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so perhaps that's why you're taking time out uh, to think about it do i want to get married or not like i said this could be the justice of the peace new love or this the uh, um, emperor 
he represents the high priest or the uh, justice of the peace he could be the um, um, the right person um, to uh, join you together you could also be uh, seeking knowledge about uh, prenuptials perhaps you might be signing legal documents as well with this and with the Emperor now we've got hot lips well, I used these cards last week and I really do love these cards hot lips so somebody loves your lips or wants to kiss you and they might be kissing you hot lips also to me means um, it's the mouth you speak so what's your intonation uh, watch what you say and how you say it but definitely um, love is in the cards okay hot lips let's have a look those hot lips have some news blips whoa make a joyful noise unto the universe and this is the universe card really celebrations and gratitude are the name of the game today thou shalt have fun sing shout laugh out loud let those luscious lips of yours smile it's a heavenly expression of a good life and an affirmation of what your body is telling you yes you embody spirit in alcoholics anonymous they call it that an attitude of gratitude go on hot lips express all that you you joy so i love that really really i love these cards from the audacious um, action angels and you can see more of them in the playlist of course take care and have a lovely week thank you